Hi dears, this is Raji. We are solving previous year's question paper. This is part 4 of 2015 ICSC board paper. Okay. We have finished already 3 videos related to that. And try to practice some board questions daily so that yeah, you will become more and more confident. So let's continue with 2015 board paper. Read this one. See the question. For each of the substance listed below, describe the role played in the extraction of aluminium. Cryolite. What is the role of cryolite in the extraction of aluminium? Cryolite can reduce the fusion temperature of the electrolytic bath from 2050 degrees Celsius to 950 degrees Celsius. Also, it enhances the electrical conductivity of the electrolytic mixture. Okay, what's the role of sodium hydroxide? Hot concentrated sodium hydroxide is used for the purification of bauxite ore. Right, yeah. what is that process known as? The process is known as Bayer's process. Correct, no? The main impurity that will be associated with bauxite ore will be Fe2O3. If you are treating the ore and the impurity with hot concentrated sodium hydroxide, the ore will be soluble in that, whereas the gang will remain insoluble. Correct, no? So, due to that, that can be separated easily. Got it? What's the role of graphite in the electrolytic extraction of aluminium? Graphite is used as the anode for the process. Okay, you can remember. Now, read the next one. Explain why in the electrolysis of alumina using hall Harald's process, the electrolyte is covered with powdered coke. We had already discussed that. What's the answer? To prevent heat loss due to radiation. Correct. There is one more reason to prevent the burning of anode. In the video related to hall Harald's process, we have discussed all this question in detail. Okay, you can just go through that. Read the next one. Iron sheets are coated with zinc during galvanization. What is galvanization? Yeah, it is a process of coating iron with molten zinc. Why we are doing so? Compared to iron, zinc is more reactive. Easily, it will be oxidizing into zinc oxide. So, above zinc, you can see a layer of zinc oxide. Once the zinc oxide layer is formed on the surface, yeah, which in turn will be protecting the metals below. You can write like that. Okay. Yes. Read this question. Give balance chemical equation for the action of sulfuric acid on the following. The first one is potassium hydrogen carbonate. Write and see what is the formula of potassium hydrogen carbonate. It is potassium bicarbonate KHCO3. What will be the product of the reaction? Whenever a dilute acid is added to a bicarbonate, definitely one product of the reaction will be carbon dioxide. Another product of the reaction will be water. Along with that, a salt also will be forming. Easy to memorize, no? So, the salt formed in this case will be potassium sulfate. Got it? Yes. See the next one. What will happen when sulfur is treated with sulfuric acid? Remember, sulfur will never react with dilute sulfuric acid. So, you will have to add concentrated sulfuric acid into that. What will be the product of the reaction? You will be getting sulfur dioxide and water also. Correct. Yeah. How to balance this equation? How to predict the product of the reaction? Everything we have discussed in the chapter sulfuric acid. I will share the link of that video in the description box. You can just go through that. Okay. Read the next one. In the contact process for the manufacturing of sulfuric acid, give the equations for the conversion of sulfur trioxide to sulfuric acid. How can you convert sulfur trioxide to sulfuric acid? Yeah, we won't add water to that. Instead of that, we will be adding concentrated sulfuric acid into sulfur trioxide. So, what will be the product obtained? You will be getting H2S2O7. It is also known as pyrosulfuric acid or oleum. Right. From oleum, how you will be getting sulfuric acid? Add water to that. We will dilute it. Right. No. So, if you are adding one molecule of water, exactly you will be getting two molecules of sulfuric acid. It is easy, no? Yeah, you can remember that. 
yeah see the next one copy and complete the following table purification of copper anode and the electrolyte they are asking purification of copper means we are doing the electro refining of copper for the electro refining of copper impure metal should be kept as the anode a thin strip of pure metal copper will be kept as the cathode correct and which will be the electrolyte if you are electro refining copper it should be a salt solution of copper correct so in this case we will be using copper sulfate solution so what will be the answer anode will be impure rod correct no impure copper whereas electrolyte will be aqueous solution of copper sulfate you can write like that again they are asking write the equation taking place at the anode what will be the reaction taking place at the anode compared to the anions so4 to minus and oh minus ion present in the electrolytic solution copper will be having more tendency to give away electron so what will be the reaction taking place at the anode yeah copper will be giving away two electron and will be coming to the solution as u2 plus ion entire electrolytic chapter we have discussed in 18 minutes video so you should go through that okay easily you can predict the product of the reaction at the cathode also at the anode also got it read this question explain the following dilute nitric acid is generally considered as a typical acid but not so in its reaction with metals yeah so in the chapter nitric acid we have discussed this portion also in detail okay so what do you mean by a typical acid a normal dilute acid only that means if a normal dilute acid is added to a carbonate it will be releasing carbon dioxide if it is added to sulfite it will be releasing sulfur dioxide gas and if it is reacting with a metal it can release hydrogen gas correct all these properties are exhibited by dilute nitric acid also so it is behaving as a normal acid only but when it is reacting with metal like see you will not be getting hydrogen okay what is the reason reason is that dilute nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent you should write whenever it is reacting with a metal dilute nitric acid will be oxidizing this hydrogen formed into water as a result you won't be getting hydrogen correct yeah in addition to that you will be getting nitric oxide along with that zinc nitrate also will be formed how to predict the product of the reaction how to balance this equation easily also we have discussed in the chapter nitric acid okay yes so what's the answer dilute nitric acid is a typical acid only but when it reacts with a metal what will happen because of its strong oxidizing property it will be oxidizing hydrogen to water as a result dilute nitric acid can never liberate hydrogen from metals yeah it will be converting that hydrogen into water you should remember that okay that's the answer see the next one concentrated nitric acid appears yellow when it is left standing in a glass bottle what's the answer nitric acid in presence of light it will be undergoing decomposition reaction and what will be the product of the reaction nitrogen dioxide water and little bit of oxygen also will be formed what will be the color of nitrogen dioxide it is reddish brown in color this reddish brown colored nitrogen dioxide gas will be dissolving in the same acid hno3 correct as a result that nitric acid will be appearing yellow in color you should write like that so in order to make the answer much more better had better you write this balanced chemical equation also with that okay yes see the next one all glass apparatus is used in the laboratory preparation of nitric acid we have discussed that already in the chapter nitric acid right yes nitric acid vapors are highly corrosive so if you are using a rubber stopper or cork stopper what will happen nitric acid vapors can corrode them that is the reason we are using the entire apparatus made up of glass and that is known as a glass retort correct you know that 
see this question the following questions are pertaining to the laboratory preparation of hydrogen chloride gas write the equation for its preparation mentioning the conditions required how can you prepare hydrogen chloride gas in the laboratory yeah we have discussed that also you will be knowing that you will be taking sodium chloride to that we will be adding concentrated sulfuric acid yeah we are heating the mixture below 200 degrees celsius so what will be the product of the reaction you will be getting sodium bisulfate along with that yeah hydrogen chloride gas also will be produced got it what's the next question name the drying agent used and justify your answer yeah which is a drying agent used for this purpose yeah we will be using concentrated sulfuric acid as a drying agent what's the reason that calcium oxide and phosphorus pentaoxide are also very good drying agents but we will not use them what's the reason they can react with yeah, hydrogen chloride gas so a drying agent should be a substance that should not react with the gas it should only dry the gas that's the reason we are using concentrated sulfuric acid as a drying agent which in turn will not react with hydrogen chloride gas got it yes read the next one state a safety precaution you would be taking during the preparation of hydrochloric acid how can you prepare hydrochloric acid yeah, using a funnel arrangement do you remember we discussed that also okay a funnel arrangement will be increasing the surface area for absorption and also it will be preventing back suction also so they are asking two reason for that right imagine this is a main reaction apparatus in which we are keeping concentrated sulfuric acid okay yeah. and this is the funnel arrangement for dissolving hydrogen chloride gas to prepare hydrochloric acid in between the main reaction apparatus and the funnel arrangement you will be keeping an empty round bottom flask correct no okay hope you might have understood so as a result in case of any back section also the water will not be reaching the main reaction apparatus it will be coming and getting collected in this empty round bottom flask so what's the answer yeah one precautionary measure is that you can use a funnel arrangement that will be preventing back suction also you can keep an empty round bottom flask in between the main reaction apparatus and the funnel arrangement so that water will not be reaching the main reaction apparatus in which concentrated sulfuric acid has been kept got it yes read this question an element l consists of molecules what type of bonding is present in the particles that make up l it will be covalent bond okay you know that read the next one when l is heated with iron metal it forms a compound fel what chemical term would you use to describe the change undergone by l remember f is a metal L is a non-metal, correct? Yeah. Metals are always electron donors. Non-metals are electron acceptors. So, during the formation of FeL, what might have happened? L might have accepted the electron, okay? Or it might have gained electrons, we will say. What is that process known as? Gain of electrons, okay? Yeah. The process is known as oxidation, how you will remember yeah there is a shortcut okay that is oil rig we can imagine oxidation is loss of electron correct yeah whereas reduction is gain of electron you can memorize like that okay so that mistakes will not be happening okay yes see this one from the list of the following salts choose the salt that most appropriately fits the description given in the following so you have a list of so many compounds and you will have to choose the appropriate one according to the question a deliquescent salt what do you mean by a deliquescent salt it can absorb moisture from the surrounding and it will be dissolving in that moisture and it will be forming a concentrated solution okay out of this which is the answer that is magnesium chloride okay you should memorize that and insoluble chloride 
a chloride which is insoluble we have already discussed about it silver chloride is a white precipitate correct no so insoluble chloride is silver chloride it is related to the practical chemistry see this one on heating this salt gives a yellow residue when hot and white when cold which is that yeah it is zinc carbonate what will happen zinc carbonate upon heating you will be getting zinc oxide and carbon dioxide note it down zinc oxide will be yellow in color when it is hot okay and it will be white when it is cold got it yeah, yeah. see the next one on heating this salt a brown colored gas is evolved what might be that brown colored gas definitely it will be nitrogen dioxide see, you have two options potassium nitrate also calcium nitrate also which one you will choose answer is calcium nitrate calcium nitrate upon heating you will be getting calcium oxide nitrogen dioxide and then oxygen also but upon heating potassium nitrate you won't be getting nitrogen dioxide okay we already discussed this also in the chapter nitric acid you will be getting potassium nitrite along with that oxygen gas will be evolved correct no potassium nitrate also sodium nitrate also will be giving you the same reaction NaNO2 and along with that oxygen gas will be obtained whereas calcium nitrate will be giving you nitrogen dioxide gas so which is that salt answer is calcium nitrate got it okay yes except the questions related to mole concept we have discussed each and every questions related to 2015 paper see you in the next video with another paper